Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Plants for Table. This is Lan, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. In today's videos, I'm going to update you on the eye harvest behind me right here. Um, as you can see right now, this eye harvest is covered in greens, which is a very good sign, right? These are the five cucumbers I planted um, more than two months ago. And you can see right now, they are climbing the trellis. On my right hand side, these are the eggplants. I'm having two types of eggplants. One is the fairy tale, and the other one is just a regular variety. I want to compare these two to see how they do in a hydroponic system, um, specifically in this eye harvest. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up as an encouragement. And if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. I purposely planted one cucumber plant in each of the row so that I could train them to climb the trellis. This way the cucumber have more room to grow. I ordered this trellis from Walmart for just $21 and it seems to be the cheapest bamboo trellis on the market I could find. And I'm very happy. It's expandable so it's very flexible when it comes to accommodating the space that you have. As for the lighting, I initially was about to build one myself, however to save time, I decided to order two more lights with the stand from iHarvest and also the two light extension kit so that it can cover the space above. As you can see my trellis is pretty high up and it touched the ceiling. I'm glad that IG Works provides us the option to expand the growth space. This is where the extension kit starts. And that's another 12 inches of lighting. Here's the light that came with the eye harvest when I first purchased the system. I'm more of a visual person. So I just want to let you see both of them side by side for um, a comparison. This should be plenty of light for the plants. Okay, let's get back to the plants. Typically, cucumbers have male and female flowers. And then in nature, they need um, the bee or insects to pollinate. I grew this regular type last time and pollinating is just too much work for me. I mean, after all, I'm not a bee and spot every single flower that bloom in a day. So this time I'm growing a hybrid variety. This variety only carry female flowers. There's no single male flowers that I can see in all five plants. The yield should be higher. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. This is the first time that I grow cucumber that does not require pollination. I will keep you posted. While we add it, let me show you how I trim this plant. It's important to trim your plant so that the plant will concentrate the nutrient on fruit bearing. I'm going to show you how to identify suckers so you can pinch them off of your plant. Each cucumber plant has one main vine, and from that vine, leaves and flowers grow from it. Here is the main vine, right here. I consider the main vine to be like the main row, and any small row that split from that, we should pinch it off, if that makes sense. Here's an example. You see right here is the tentacle that the cucumber can cling to the trellis. And then there's a flower right here with the potential fruit. Then in between of the flower and the tentacle is a small branch that stick out. You need to pinch it off. This is called a sucker. Here's another one. It's very easy to identify them once you've done it once or twice. This is a big one because 
I should have、um, pinched it off a while ago, but I didn't see it. Now it's off. You see, although it looks like a flower that's producing fruit, but it will just shrink and fall off of your plant, and then all those nutrients that it concentrated on the sucker is just gone to waste. Next, I'm going to cut off those flowers that I know not going to produce any fruit, like this one. You see, it's turning yellow and kind of dry up. I'm gonna try to trim them off of the plant so that, again, the nutrients can、um, be used for the other things. Also, remember to trim off the. Yellow-looking leaves and unhealthy ones. I've got a few right here. Now everything looks so much better. The eggplants are doing well and have a few flowers already. Eggplant is considered to have a complete flower. It means that the male and female parts should be in the same flower. In order for it to produce fruit, just run a fan once in a while. You can also use a small paintbrush and just touch the flower gently. That should be enough. Okay, one word of caution: eggplants have thorns. I shed some blood today. If you have kids or you just trimming your eggplants without noticing, watch out. It hurts. One last thing that I want to mention to you guys is that I started this eye harvest with the Maxi Grow. Which came with the system, but since I'm、uh, growing a lot of fruity plants, I switch it to Maxi Bloom as soon as the plants produce、uh, flowers. I will keep you guys updated once this system is covered in cucumbers and eggplants, probably in the next two or three weeks. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.